Somehow you're fine with it Even when I'm chaotic Right, sorry about that. Tech diffi technical difficulties. I forgot to unmute my microphone. <laughs> so hopefully now sound is better. <laughs> so I was saying before sound while it was muted, it is day 29 of vlogs. So it's a little bit late for me, but I want to make sure I didn't skip today. And I decided I would just go ahead and do a live stream since I don't know, it's a different time. See how it is streaming at night. So I'm gonna check sound again. Right, I think sound is good. So I have been making a few um, teacher ID badge holders and I started to just cut them out and package them. So I thought I would just hang out with you guys for a little bit and work on that. It is so warm. So I'm sorry. I know the fans and all that stuff are going and it's crazy loud. Let's move my mat out the way because I'm gonna be cutting. Take all this tape off. So I embroidered these earlier today. And I just need to do the embroidery pulling up. I'm not going to worry about keeping this tape today because I'm not going to be embroidering anymore today. It is pretty late for me. I mean, it's not late. It's only like eight o'clock, but late for me to be doing streaming. <laughs> that in the trash when I get up. And yeah. So I need to cut these out and I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the extra stabilizer since I do save this. everyone has had a great Tuesday. Today was just a little bit busy for me. Pretty much why I'm <laughs> doing my vlog is so late. But I did not want to miss, especially towards the end because vlog is just almost done now. Get rid of tape. I really should have brought my trash can over here. It's a little bit across, but that's all right. I just don't, when I save these little scraps of stabilizer, I always like to just cut, cut them down a little bit. And I will just set these down here too. All right, so what I need to do is, I need to get my rotary cutter and I need to cut each one of these out. So I need to do little things like fixing the jump stitches. Where is my little oh, it is. I put it on the floor and I didn't see it. So I like to use these. I don't know what they're actually called. I just call them like protein rollers. I'm pretty sure they have a, a, an actual name. And my rotary cutter here. And we're going to go ahead and just trim all these. And 
I don't know if I'm staying in frame. I'm so bad at staying in frame. <laughs> I did want to do some crochet today. I want to... I still am behind on my Critters Crochet Blanket. So I did want to work on that a little bit today. So we'll see. I might cut all these out and then if I have a little bit of time... to do all the cleanup. Get rid of all the little pieces left over. I don't know if I'm actually going to finish these tonight. <laughs> I might, I think I might just cut them out tonight and do all the little cleanup tomorrow. Yeah, so I think I might just, yeah, I'm just going to cut them out today. I don't know, kind of just not in the mood for, I think because it's um, a little bit darker in here with the lights off and are not well the lights are on but it's just later in the day so it's it's more dark and I guess it's a little bit harder to see so I think it'll probably be better for me to do it when I am able to see and just feeling a little bit more fresh because I wouldn't want to mess up after I spent so much time embroidering all of these I think I'm going to switch over to some crochet because I don't have to finish these tonight. I'm going to set them aside. I'm going to go and put all this in the trash because my area is starting to get a little bit messy. So hold on a sec. Are gonna I'm gonna switch over I'm in the mood for doing some crochet so let's see let's get my area back cleaned up and I'm gonna grab my little storage bin this is kind of what I keep this is how like when I'm working on a current project like if I'm making like ID badges I keep one of those little Dollar Tree bins and I like to keep a Swiffer, like a dry Swiffer, so I can wipe down anything. And then these are just some of the pieces that I use, like these are the backs of the ID cards, I had a few extra. This is just trash, this is what's stuck on the clear vinyl. There's another badge that I had made and was cutting out, more badge pieces, and then I have my just little cards that I slide into the back of them just for little marking I guess and I have the backing cards and then these are the ones that I need to cut out and I need to put the badge reels onto them so I'm gonna actually do this tomorrow my thank you stickers I'll put in here washi tape pin I don't need that out and then I have the stickers that I put on the back of the baggies so I'm gonna store everything in my little storage bin Get my area. Some more stickers. <laughs> Get, uh, back organized. I don't see where I did the lid to this. Oh, here it is. And this lid is actually broken. Um, it got broken before I even used it. I had it sitting down and one of the cats decided to walk across it and he's so heavy that he just broke the lid. So. Yeah, but it's alright, because I just use it to keep things when I am, you know, working on them. Alright, so let's switch. I'm going to go ahead and put back my mat. 
and let's get out some crochet. It's late. I want to do some crochet. What I am in the mood for working on is I have one of my bags. So one of the things I love, um, I always keep my crochet projects in is I like to keep them in baggies. And if I'm going to use a bag, I might as well use one of my own, right? So I like this one. It has kitties, has my name on it. And then the other side, I just randomly put my name on the back. I was just trying out some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I like to have my crochet projects in baggies because if I'm like leaving, if I'm going somewhere I, and it's a place that I'll be able to crochet, I like being able to just grab my bag and go. All right, so this is my Critters Crochet Blanket. And I have not done the stitch for week six and the stitch for week seven is already out so let's 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 work on that <laughs> all right so this was that cluster stitch i think let's see where is my crochet hook is it in here i feel like i was using that hook so, oh, i left my hook in here all right have my crochet hook and this one kind of came out a little bit so let's put it back and this was that cluster stitch. So let's do the cluster stitch. And I'm going to get my other yarn because I'm going to be changing back to this color. It's starting to get a little messy. Actually, I don't know if I cut it or did I leave it attached. I'm a mess today. <laughs> Everything is so tangled. Okay, that's the one I'm using. Come on, there we go. Right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to cut a pretty long tail just in case I need it. Let's set this aside and grab this. I don't even feel like untangling that. I'm going to just trim off that little knot. And let's. Again, I'm leaving super long tails on here just because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> just in case I mess up and I need to go back, it's easy. So my sides are a little bit kind of wonky on this, but I think it's okay. I'm going to put like an edging on it or like a, just a super simple border. So it should be able to hide it, I think. So let me grab, I don't remember how to do the stitch. Now I did watch the tutorial, but I don't remember. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the Critters Crochet tutorial Critters, crochet. it was a really simple one it was like just a square mesh pattern and it was mostly just I think double crochets and then like skipping chains and chaining so it should be pretty simple So this is the video. Welcome, welcome. Happy to. And I'm going to get uh, to the tutorial. Is, um, and then okay. what we're going to do is we're going to skip this first stitch. In there. All right, I skipped too far. Stitch. Hold on. Okay. So once I get going, it's a pretty simple repeat, so we should be good. Joined in. Hey, it's Crystal. Two, hey, Crystal, how are you? Okay, five, one, two, three, four. Right here, and this one, and we're going to go into that third stitch, and we're going to place the double one, crochet. Two. So we're skipping one, two, and we're going into that third stitch. Okay. And so we're doing a square. Another. That does that creates our first double 
So I've already watched this one time, but I forgot. <laughs> Nice, great to hear. Pretty simple. You're going to chain two, one, two. Then you're going to skip two stitches and do a double in the third stitch. Wait, I chained two, right? Double in the third, the third. Chain two, skip two, double in the third, and I'll meet you at the end of this stitch, of this row. Alright, so this is a pretty right, we're back again. Straightforward I stitch. I've done my chain two, skip two, and double it across. Now with this stitch, when we did this um, shell from the previous from row five, you may, your your third stitch might be in the top of that cluster, or it could land in the uh, chain one. Okay, let me just make sure so that I'm doing this that. right. So we're down to the last few stitches, last three stitches actually. So I did my chain two. I think we're good. I'm getting a mesh. So I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to work across this row. Oops. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't even know where. I'm probably crocheting some random. I'm so bad at like actually staying in frame. Alright, so this is a pretty simple stitch. So just make a double crochet, chain two, skip two, and double crochet. I'm really happy I rewatched the tutorial because I probably I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have skipped two stitches. I would have just been skipping one and adding one in between, so Good thing I did go back and actually watch. Alright, so this is how the mesh is looking so far. So I think it's good. I think, yeah, it's pretty good. So let's keep going. Hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. I kind of just had, today was kind of just a busy day for me, trying to get lots done. And then I did spend a little bit of time kind of reorganizing, mostly just making a bigger mess. <laughs> I was moving furniture and whenever that happens, yeah, I, it takes me a while to get everything, <laughs> you know, figured out. <laughs> the best is great. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I have been working from the outside of this, but I just realized I started pulling, doing a center pull again. But, eh, that's alright. I'm just so worried because I don't want the Karen One Pound to get tangled. I really do like Karen One Pound. You know, it's a good price when I have a coupon. But they do tangle really, really easy, and I end up with like a really tangled mess. So I thought I would try for this project that I try doing, like pulling the yarn from the outside. And I've been going pretty good, but I just. Oh, mesh. <laughs> hey, that's funny because I was just saying, like, I'm such a mess today. <laughs> that's funny. Like, everything's been a mess for me today, like. I don't know why I decided I wanted to move furniture around. And that just makes me take everything out. And I don't have quite enough room to fit everything back. <laughs> Not mess, sorry, I mean mess. That's funny though. But yeah, so I my room right now is a mess. <laughs> I'm just like looking back like I have I have so much to put away before I can even head to bed. <laughs> So yeah, it's I'm 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 dealing with the mess today. <laughs> I also do love the mesh though. I love these ones that like I don't know. My favorite has been the very first stitch. I like it because it's that really really like that open mesh. I like that a lot. And then I also 
My second favorite was this. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. But it's one, two, three, number four. I really like that one a lot too. And this one's nice. I'm happy since I'm behind on it that it's a really simple stitch that should go pretty quickly. So I, I gotta get caught up on this. I don't know how many rows of this one I'm actually gonna do. Most of them, when they're double crochet, what did I do for the other one? Did one, two, three, four, five. So I did six rows of the previous one. So not quite sure how many I'm gonna end up doing. So have you started the week seven stitch yet, Crystal? I haven't looked at it yet. Um, I always force myself before I look at the new stitch. I have to get caught up first before I look at it. I don't know, it just motivates me to <laughs> finish because I'm really bad at jumping from project to project without actually finishing anything. I, how many? I'm kind of like not really counting my rows. I kind of want my blocks to just be, to look kind of even. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing like the way it looks. I think I'm probably going to do six. I think six is usually kind of what I do. Yeah, I do like the blocks of color. I did find my scarf too because I started another project where I wanted it to be like I wanted to just do like a really like smaller amount and I'm like two weeks behind on that because I lost it and I looked everywhere for this scarf and I keep most of my current projects I keep them in my trunk back here went through that couldn't find it and I didn't realize that I had stuffed the scarf that ball of yarn in the bottom of my scrap elephant bag. So when I looked in the scrap elephant bag, like I thought it was just all my scrap yarns and I didn't take all of them out. And my scarf was down there. <laughs> I you do it, but I never share what I'm doing. Yeah, that's okay. Are you gonna share it when you're finished? Or is it gonna be just like your little kind of private project? It is fun to keep it as a surprise until the end. I need to get caught up on my scarf too. It's been so long since I've actually finished a project. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just have not finished anything. Again, I'm gonna blame it on the heat. It was like 107 today. Oh nice, so you are gonna share it. That's gonna be awesome. Trying to make sure I'm actually. Oh, I got a cat visiting. Guess I always have a cat visiting. <laughs> I've been trying to decide. I was working on my super bright neon yarn blanket. True. I mean, those count, right? <laughs> that is something I've gotten done. So I've done other projects. I just haven't finished any crochet projects. <laughs> I started a lot though. I just started another one yesterday. I started crocheting a little vest to put on my doggy amigurumi project. Haven't finished that. <laughs> it's really quick too. It doesn't take long because it's just a tiny, tiny little vest. But I don't know, I just keep <laughs> picking up other projects. 
And I'm still like trying to figure out what to do with my blanket, my neon yarn blanket bag. Oh, I did finish a bag. Okay, I think was the bag the last thing I finished? Ooh. Actually, you're right, the froggy bag. I think that is the last thing I finished. What stops me? Finding another project. <laughs> I keep, I don't know, I like to just browse and like look at different patterns and when I see a new pattern, I'm like, I'm gonna work on this. <laughs> and then everything else just gets put to the side. I'll eventually start finishing them though. Especially once it cools off. Cause this weather, it just makes me so lazy. Like, I don't wanna do anything. Like when it's like 107, 108, I just want to like lay down on the couch and like watch TV and just, nah. <laughs> I don't like the heat. And I used to be a summer person. I used to be like, I love it when it's a hundred degrees. Don't know what happened, but this year, nope. <laughs> I just complain about it. So I'm hoping tomorrow it's going to be another triple digit and the next 10 days, it's going to be only in the nineties. So. Please let that be the end of summer. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty quick stitch. I'm like almost to the end of this row. Now, I think I do remember how to go back because I'm doing the same thing just instead of like skipping the two and basically just going into the top of these double crochet, I think. So I think I'm good if I just continue going. Yeah, you two, Ugh, I cannot wait for it to be cool. I feel like I need to start making my sweater just so I can have it ready for like the first day that it's actually cool. I can pull out my sweater and put it on. Oh, I still can't decide which one I want to make though. I think it would be fun to make that really pretty one that's like, it's like, I guess, daisy flowers, but that's going to be a lot of tiny little granny squares to sew together. So I think I might start with one of them that's just the really big, like a cardigan made out of like those big hexagon granny squares might be a good one to start with because yeah I, I want to have it ready for when it cools and I can put it on I hear my guinea pigs in the background if you hear squeaking that's the piggies it's what yeah it's getting close i usually feed them i don't have a set of time for the guinea pigs like the cats i feed exactly at 5 30 and the piggies i feed somewhere between like 8 30 sometimes sometimes 9 30. they always have like food there like their pellets and their hay but they have fresh fruits and veggies once a day at night they're asking early. <laughs> you can hear them. I love guinea pigs. Now that's Cody going. Oh, what's up with everyone? What is Cody doing? He's just walking around. I think he was getting some water. How's this looking now that I started? I like this. I don't know how many rows I'm gonna end up doing though because I feel like this stitch, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna kinda like shrink down a little bit. Like, I don't know. I think like six rows would be a good amount. Maybe seven, we'll see. 
I should go through and like start sewing in some of my ends because I know I'm not going to want to do that. I like this one. I pretty much like them all though. <laughs> I like the way they all look. The only one I just didn't quite enjoy doing as much was that like kind of, I can't remember what it's called, but like the cluster one that makes these little popcorns just because I don't know what I was doing, but I was not paying attention and my mind were not lining up and had to frog it so many times. Those, <laughs> right? I don't like weaving in ends. But if I have to choose between sewing in a million ends and untangling yarn, I'm gonna sew the ends in. I, I, my thing is I can't do untangling yarn. Like, nope, that's the one thing that just drives me insane. Oh, not fun. And I don't know what I do, but my yarn is gonna be tangled. stitch I like this this was a good one for me to fall behind on though because it's a nice quick one I can get caught up oh yeah my neon blanket so my yarn chicken didn't play out I I ran out on the last side like I, I don't even have that far to go but I ran out on the last side and I was like that's fine because I have you know the other skein that's like partly mostly used but there's some left and I can't find it like I have really looked everywhere for this pink yarn and I feel like I just took it and I it because it's like it was one that was all tangled up and messy and I feel like I just stashed it somewhere and I don't know where like I have been looking, I looked so much yesterday and that's why I started kind of moving stuff around today because I thought, you know, I might find it. It hasn't shown up and I, part of me is like now I'm thinking like, did on one of the rounds, did I pick it up and actually just crochet it into the blanket already? <laughs> so I don't know. I really don't want to have to get another yarn, but I don't know. It's the Michaels brand and eh, I kind of don't want to go that far to Michaels to get one yarn. <laughs> and they're too cheap to order online because you have to spend like $40 to get the free shipping and I'm not doing that. I just want like one of the 3 dollars with the coupon. <laughs> so like a $3 order. But we'll see. Maybe one day I'll just go take a trip to Michaels. Yes, you rather sell it. I, right? I have a bag of the exact same thing. Like my whole bag of things that I'm like, I'm going to untangle these one day. And I start and like five minutes later, I'm like, nope, let me put this back and do something else. Oh, I, I don't like untangling. So yeah, I'm going to keep looking. Hey, Katie. We got a little cat visitor. So I'm going to keep looking and I really, really hope that yarn shows up because I only need like a little bit, just a little bit to get, <laughs> finish that last side. really like this. This is a cool stitch. So when you made that door stop, that thing was so cute. I forgot, like, what did you fill yours with? Because I remember you had, like, 
uh, it was something that I was like, I wouldn't have thought to put that in the doorstop. Because I, I haven't, yeah, I haven't worked on my elephant. <laughs> I made like 10 granny squares of the 90 that I need. And at first I was like, I'm not going to make mine a doorstop. But I'm kind of changing my mind. Just since I've never actually made a doorstop, I'm like, eh, might as well. Red beans. Oh, you're right. You're right. Now I remember. <laughs> and the pantyhose. Yes. That was such a good idea. Because I would have... Um, yeah, I wouldn't have put mine in anything and they would have been falling out constantly. <laughs> that would have been so annoying. Are you a process crocheter? I don't think so. I don't even know what that means. I'm a person, like, I have to follow a pattern. Like, I wish I was one of those people who could just, like, look at something and come up with their own projects. I kind of want to challenge myself to just, like, make something without following a pattern for once <laughs> and kind of get into that. But a process crochet, I don't know what that means. Wow, I'm surprised at how quick this is, stitch is actually going pretty quick. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yes. I mean, like, I feel like that's why I crochet, because I, I like, I like, yeah, I like the process of crocheting, like, that's the best part for me. <laughs> it's just enjoyable. I feel like... Because I'm a really, just naturally, a really fidgety person. Like, I'm always moving around. I'm always, like, playing with something in my hands. I'm always just fidgeting with something. And crochet is, like, the ultimate fidget toy for me. <laughs> I like it. Like, it's just so relaxing. Like, the best thing for me, it's, like, you know, putting on an audiobook you know, putting or listening to a podcast or something and just crocheting along with it. So relaxing. It's like the best stress reliever too. I mean, I do like having a finished project as well, but yeah, I just like the process of it. Oh, you're a fidgeter too. Yes. I did try like some of those like fidget toys and stuff and the fidget putty and all that stuff. I mean, it's fun, but Crochet. <laughs> You're a process crocheter too. Nice. It's just so relaxing. <laughs> Make sure my mesh is okay. It's good. Yeah, so the sides of this are super wonky, but eh, I think it's fine. Because I can, like, when I stretch it out, like, I can get it to a rectangle, so I feel like if it stays, like, super, super wonky, I might have to try doing the whole blocking thing. I don't really block anything, <laughs> but I don't know. If I can't get this one 
you know, straight enough, I'm, I'm going to try steaming it and blocking it and doing all that stuff. So what made you get into crochet? Like, what made you first start crocheting? True. Cover it up with the border. That always works. <laughs> right? They do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Just throw on the border and I'm good. <laughs> I remember when I first started crocheting, I didn't, I didn't put borders on, on anything. And then I started watching The Secret Yarnery and she like was putting borders on everything. So I'm like, I should try this. And yeah, they make such a difference. Like it just makes things look so finished. Side, but I think if I do, I don't know if I'm going to want to do six or seven now. We'll see, but I, I think I'll, I don't know, maybe six seems like a good number. Is there an extra chain in here? I think there's an extra chain. I'm going to keep going though. Wait, no. Oops. <laughs> There's an extra chain here too. Let me keep going. That's okay. The first I saw that I had an extra three and I was like, why do I have three here? Oh wait, I have three and quite a few of these. That's why they're kind of slanted. Oh, great. Oh, they're slanted. Should I fix this? <laughs> really? Yeah. True. I know that is a hard question to answer. Should I go back and fix this? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Honestly, they all look slanted to me. Even the ones where I put two, they're still slanted. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> it's a mesh. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, I was looking at it right here, and I'm like, they're, like, slanted here. But when I go back here, I didn't put an extra chain back here. And they're still slanted, so... I might have a slanted mesh. <laughs> It's going to be unique. I'm just giving mine a little bit care, a little bit of character. All right, camera. Okay, let's see. I mean, they're all slanting. Okay. Let's put it down and look. <laughs> Thank you. 
Am I really going to notice this? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to just keep going with it. Right. Doesn't bother me enough to want to go back and fix it. This is like this one. Oh, wait, it's on the other side now. The dots, these ones bothered me because it like once one slanted over, it was so obvious. But it's a mesh. And I feel like the mesh is like, it's not going to hold, I guess it's shaped quite as much as some of the other rows anyway. So yeah, it's fine. It's just an extra chain. <laughs> I know it's a super quick stitch, so I could go back and fix it. But, nah, I'm gonna keep going. Got another cat visiting again. You have twins! That is awesome! Oh, that's so nice. I don't have kids, but I've always, I don't know, like having twins, I've always wanted twins, I guess. I just think that's so awesome. I mean, I know it's a lot of work and everything, but I don't know, just something about having twins. That's just so awesome. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. That's a lot of work though to sell. Oh, yeah, like that's a lot of work to make wearables to sell. Oh, little twins. That is just so nice. When I was a teacher, I had in my class, I had one year. I had two sets of twins in one class. It was just so weird. <laughs> it was just nice. It was like, how did I get two sets of twins the same year? I'm like, that's like, what are the odds of that happening? Oh, they are awesome together. That is true. Oh, so nice having twins. Right? I've always wanted a twin myself too, so maybe that's why <laughs> I'm like, yeah, maybe that's why I'm so excited about twins. halfway done with this already. Alright, so this is round four. So I think doing six rows should be pretty good. crochet for either 10 more minutes until or for or after well, 10 more minutes so I've been streaming for an hour or until I get to the end of the row because I want to try I do want to try streaming every day so I'm like, if I limit myself to one hour, I think that's a good time and I'll be really excited for the next day to work on something. Because I think for next month, September, my challenge will be to try to stream for anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour each day. 
Are you just running in, Katie? The cats are just like in and out. Hey guys! Gonna come say hi? Nope, they're not gonna say hi. <laughs> Kitty's just ran up to my room. <laughs> Running around doing me <laughs> dice. I'm starting to wonder if the cat food downstairs is empty or something because they're all up here and usually when they travel up here it means that something's wrong. <laughs> usually it's like the, somebody ate all the cat food downstairs so they want me to refill them. guys out of food. Hey Marcus, wanna come say hi? Come on. Come say hi. Nope. <laughs> Just wants to wander around. <laughs> right? I love how nosy they are. You can tell that they're my cats because they love yarn. They're just like... Now I have the pigs going. I agree with you. I Cats do understand a lot. Like yesterday, it was really hot and I was putting... You know, I was gonna put you know a few ice cubes into the water dish. And I walked by the cats and I, I just said to them, Hey guys, I'm gonna give you guys some ice water. And they went to the water bowl and they just started waiting there. I'm like, they understood that. <laughs> they understood what water meant and they went and waited at the water dish. I totally do think they understand a lot. Right? They totally understood. It's like... That's crazy. Oh. I just love animals. I've gotten into watching uh, this YouTube channel, Monkey BB, and it's basically someone who has a pet monkey and like that thing understands a lot. Like he was cooking and he told the monkey to like go grab the seasonings off of the counter and the monkey walked over and got them and brought them back. It's like, that's impressive. Oops, hitting the camera. I spent a lot of time watching animal videos. <laughs> Yeah, so most of them are siblings. And then I found one of them at work one day. Tiny, it was like an abandoned, she was a little Vicky. She's like a kind of cream color cat. I found her just at work all alone. She was, she needed to be bottle fed. So yeah, took her home. <laughs> but the other ones are siblings. There was a stray cat outside and I had a dog at the time. My dog liked to go in and out a lot and some reason, that I, I didn't know at the time, but the dog kept wanting food outside and I started feeding her outside but when she would come in she would still be hungry so I was like, what's going on? She was having her food outside because there was a stray cat out there and she was letting that stray cat eat her food and yeah so then i started feeding the stray cat and it was so wild i couldn't get anywhere near it for like months and then one day my stray cat decided to run in the house and she hid under a bookshelf and a few minutes later i heard kitten cries and that's how i <laughs> ended up with a litter of cats they were just so cute and raising them and I was there when they were born I just 
I had to keep them. I love them. <laughs> it's amazing how close they are. They, they're so cute. Right? And I think this is actually the, yeah, this is the second cat that this is, well, kind of happened with. I had another, my very first kittens, they were born here too. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, could tell, like, she's smart because she rushed under the shelf and that's where she started having them. And then I put down a carrier, like the cat carrier, and I put a blanket in it. And I just set that down next to her, and she actually took her babies, moved them, put them in the carrier, and went in there. So I was able to close that up and take her somewhere else, like upstairs in a, you know, just a bigger space where she's not under a bookshelf. And, yeah, I'm like, I was, I could not believe, like, she knew when I put the carrier down to put her babies in there. So every time I would go, like, peek in there to see how she was doing and see another cat. <laughs> And I really wanted to keep the mom too. I got her neutered and she stayed here about a year, but she didn't like being a house cat. And I, I tried to keep her in. She got tamer, but she just didn't want to be a house cat. And then one day, like she just went out, like cause she would go out every day and she just didn't come home one day. And yeah, so I still look for her because the other cat that I had when I was a kid, she left for about she left for over a year the mom did she left her babies here for over a year and then one day she just randomly showed up like nothing had happened <laughs> she was just like one day i went outside and she was there so i'm hoping that happens with this cat too maybe one day she'll just randomly show back up she had seven <laughs> Seven little adorable guys. Oh, guys and girls. <laughs> and they're all different colors, like, because she was mostly, she's kind of a black cat or maybe like a calico. She had one that was white. She had the orange ones. She had the Siamese. So she had like every, hey, she had every color. Hey, my other friend is here. You, I am. I'm having so much fun with this project. My mesh is a little bit wonky, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, I forgot. I said that I was like, once I got to the end of that other row, I was like, I'm gonna stop there. And then I went ahead and just kept going, huh? <laughs> And I love how your blanket is coming out with all the different colors. Makes me want to start another one just to actually use different colors of yarn. But we'll see. I think I'm on row one, two, three, four, five. So I think once I do one more of this, I think it'll be good. I was kind of thinking of for a little bit of maybe doing seven, but I think this is enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think this has been like the quickest row or the quickest stitch so far. Like this one is going really fast. Really? Oh, today's stitch is good. I haven't looked at it yet because I forced myself to wait until I finished the other week. Yeah, this one. 
it's it's interesting. I can't see myself like using this stitch for well, I don't know, maybe making like a, a mesh top or something to wear over like a tank top would be cool. But yeah, I can't really see myself using this stitch quite as much. I like how fast it's going though. I like that. I think it does, look, I don't know, it's kind of like, I guess, kind of like a nice, it breaks up some of these more dense ones. I can't wait to see though what next week is, or this week's stitch is going to be. What are you doing? I got a cat down here looking at my yarn. Ooh, a mesh top. Yeah, that. This is, I guess, what's making me want to get into these wearables. Like, I still have. I don't know. I'm just so intimidated to try a wearable. But I'm gonna have to give it a try. I know I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna be addicted once I start my first wearable. <laughs> You're not telling me. Thank you. I know it's like I have to finish. I have to finish. But now I know it's a good one. I'm excited to see. <laughs> Part of me is like I might as well just sit here and right and just finish this so I can see it tonight. I didn't expect the stitch to go this quickly, like, I thought I might get, like, maybe one or two rows done. Hi, Polly. <laughs> right? You know, I tried to have, like, I just love seeing everyone who has their yarn out displayed. It's so pretty. And I tried to do that. And one of my cats just would go and just take him one skein of yarn at a time. Like he would just go get, he wouldn't mess it up. He would just take one and go stash it somewhere. Oh, I was so annoyed. I'd walk by and I'd see like a space in my yarn and I'm like, why is one missing? And then I walk downstairs and I see one stashed behind the couch or something. So I ended up having to take all my yarn and put it into like plastic tubs because he would not stop. I'm just gonna finish the stitch tonight. <laughs> oh, a virus shawl. Oh. Really? So you mostly crochet for others. That's cool. You know, I started a virus blanket a while ago. I have not finished it yet. <laughs> I should get that out. That sounds pretty. What colors did you use for yours? I need to look at that pattern now. Really? So you don't keep your things either? See, I'm selfish when it comes to crochet. Like anything else I make, I will give that away. But my crochet pieces are mine. <laughs> I crochet for me. Like, I don't know, something about my crochet. Like, I have a hard time letting it go. Like everything, uh, every other craft, you know, I, I can give that away, but just something about my crochet.
almost to the end of this row. Oh, I need to look up this pattern now. I know as soon as I look it up, I'm going to be like, I'm going to add this to my list of things I want to make. Because I've really been wanting to make a shawl. Because it's been so hot. Three, four, make sure I'm... But, you know, sitting in front of the AC, it because my AC is like right here, I'm like, it'd be kind of nice to have something just to like kind of wrap around my shoulders if I have like, you know, something sleeveless on. It'd be so nice. So, I need to look into that. Alright, so this is row six, and yeah, I think this is enough of the stitch. <laughs> First I was like, maybe I should do seven, but I think six is going to be plenty. Yeah, I am going to finish this row. I want to see what the new stitch is. I feel like if I use this blanket, I'm going to be fidgeting with this part of it because it's, it's like my fingers just fit perfectly into these spaces. This is going to be like a fidget toy for me. <laughs> yarn out yarn apart flowers. Ooh, I need to see what that looks like. That sounds pretty. And the guinea pigs. <laughs> They're like, food time? Dinner time? Alpaca. Ooh, that sounds nice. I need to Google that. I need to see what that looks like. So yarn art. I've never like used any yarn that has like alpaca or anything. I'm just like, what does it feel like? That sounds amazing. I wish I could have like a pet alpaca and or a couple of them and learn how to spin my own yarn and everything. Flowers alpaca, there it is. Ooh, those are pretty. There's so many. Oh, these are pretty. How do I get US dollar prices? Oh, these are pretty. So, is it like this kind? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. These are so pretty. So you do yarn spinning? I want to. I want to learn that so bad. And I want to learn how to like dye my own yarn. <laughs> yeah, like the guinea pigs. They're so used to the cats because I use like the open top cages for the guinea pigs, and the cats actually go in there and will sleep in the cage, and the little guinea pigs will like just walk right across their feet and everything. I close them when I leave. I know like they've never done anything or been, but just when I, if I have to leave, I put the lids on the cages, but they're so comfortable around each other. I guess the cats just grew up with them. So they're like, and they eat the guinea pig food too. They'll go in there and start eating the grass and stuff. My yard is purple and green. So, like this one is so pretty. I, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this color. This is so pretty. Like that hot pink oh, and the yellow. That is so pretty. Wow. I'm 
might have to keep this in mind. <laughs> on your bucket list too yeah I've been watching so many videos it just looks amazing like oh I, I, I wish I could do it I was really looking at the yarn dyeing recently just I it's it's pretty affordable because I thought the, the the dyes would be a lot more expensive, but they're quite affordable. And if you want just like the small ones, they're only like two to three dollars each. And then once I heard that you basically only need three colors, you can mix all the other colors you need. If you get like the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow, you just mix whatever other color you want. So I'm like, this this sounds cool. Yarn spinning? Ooh, that sounds awesome. Those are some pretty yarns. I just love that. I feel like if I do get into wearables and I'm able to make something decent <laughs> that, you know, looks decent, I'm probably, I might actually try to get some more fancy yarn and make something a wearable out of something a little bit more fancy. Because most yarn I use, I'm just like, whatever's on sale. <laughs> That's what I'm crocheting with. But I see all these beautiful like hand dyed ones and it's just like, ugh. I wanna try it. And I do know like a couple, just a couple cities over, like not super far, maybe like 20 minutes. I did pass by a like a very small yarn shop. I didn't go in, but I passed by it and I was like, ah, I should stop. And I looked at their website a little bit and they have like different classes and stuff. I missed, the, I was so sad. I missed the one on the yarn dyeing, but they, I think they have one on spinning that's coming up pretty soon. So I might have to go check that out. And they have like also they have like both in person and zoom they have like fiber art nights it's mostly like the name of the shop like kept knitting in it so when i passed by i thought it was mostly just for knitters but they have like crochet night and all kind of things and then just a fiber art where you can just get together like on zoom or meet there and just craft together i'm like that sounds awesome Oh wow, see, that's how I started too. I started with just blankets. And yeah, I made, I have so many blankets. <laughs> like I have an insane amount of blankets and that's all I was making. But then once I started, once I found Llama Mama Kayla and I saw all of her amigurumis, they were just so cute. So I was like, I, I, I'm gonna give it a try. And I have the first one I made is here. <laughs> so this was my, this was supposed to be a penguin. I, I, it, it doesn't look like a penguin, but it was supposed to be a penguin. And eh, this is my very first little amigurumi. And then struggled with that. And then my second one was, I'm proud of this one. 
my little pair. This one came out so much better. And then number, I don't know which one, I think probably either the cupcake was next or the bee. And then I got into making ones that were larger. Just had so much fun with that. And then I have my Paris Crochet Flow chicken. I love this thing. This was the first time that I used chunky yarn. It, it, I'm not used to the chunky yarn, so that was kind of a challenge, but it was fun trying it. And I love how it came out. I think it's so funny, so cute. So you wanna to learn to knit too? I wanna to learn to knit too. I really wanna learn how to knit. So are you like, are you following like a certain like YouTube channel to learn how to knit? I really want to, I've tried. I have the knitting needles and everything and I don't know, I don't get it because I mess up and I don't know how to fix it when I mess up. So I have to just take everything off and start over every time I make a mistake. Oh, you even have great grandchildren. That's so nice. So you're not a fan of the chunky? Yeah. Uh, it's harder to work with. And then this little kitty here, I made out of like the fluff. What are the cats doing? <laughs> I made out of like that. Is it chenille yarn? That was tough to work with too. I like how it looks, but I don't know. I'm just not familiar with it. It just, I don't know. My hands do not work with it. I'm just used to my regular <laughs> thin yarn. Oh, you're going to read to your babies. What are you guys reading? Oh, that's just so nice to have babies to read to. Oh, Mikey. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been watching Mikey's knitting, all of his knitting stuff, but I haven't, I haven't gotten the courage to try it yet. All right, so I'm in, I'm to the end of this row. So I think I am done with this stitch. I was going to do a little bit more. This is fun to play with. <laughs> it's just, yeah, when I use this blanket, I'm going to be doing this constantly. Crochet, the knit kraut, knit, crochet kraut, knit kraut. Not sure. I'm not sure which one. Oh, oh Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. I, am, okay, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. I remember like when the books would come out, when the books were coming out, I remember like getting up super early in the morning to go to Walmart to get it super, super early so I could be <laughs> first off reading it. All right, so I, I think I am done with this and I think I'm gonna call it a night. So it's about, it's early. I mean, it's 9.15, which is late for me, <laughs> especially to be streaming this late. So, I think that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to take off. I need to feed the guinea pigs because you guys have heard them squeaking like crazy. And I need to make sure the cats are good. They have all their water and food for the night. And I need to clean up my room because it's still a mess. And I have stuff all over my bed. So I need to get that put away. <laughs> oh, your granddaughter's getting into Harry Potter too. Nice. You know, just... I need to go back and reread the books again. It's been so long. I, I have to go back and read them. Oh, it was just so enjoyable. And then when the movies came out, oh, memories. <laughs> cause I remember like, cause like Harry Potter, like I started reading them when I was in elementary school and I went all the way through, the last one came out when I was in college. So it was like, my education is like around Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, I feel like rereading them. Yeah, I, I need to. Oh, thanks so much for stopping by. It was so nice just chatting with you guys. I appreciate it so, so much. And I got to get caught up on your channels too. Oh, hopefully, yeah. So I'm going to probably, after I get cleaned up tonight, I think I'm going to relax in bed and enjoy some yarn tube. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much.
Me too. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to take off. Love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I might go live tomorrow. Or I might just post a video. I'm not sure yet, but I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Ebooks. Yes. I still have all the books too. I saved my whole collection of Harry Potter books. <laughs> I just need to go down there downstairs on my shelf. Oh, I should get them out. <laughs> yeah, I should get them out. <laughs> That's how you do it with the ebooks. Yeah. I, I, oh, I need to go find all of my Harry. That might be something I do tomorrow. I might go through and take out my collection of Harry Potter books. <laughs> all right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Stop screaming.